America's a step closer to war with Iran tonight. U.S. airstrikes targeted and killed one of Iran's most popular and powerful leaders. Qasem Soleimani was taken out when he landed at the airport in Baghdad, Iraq. The leader of Iran's Quds Force was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American service members in the Middle East. Now the world waits on Iran's reprisal. 90s reporter Ryan Harris has been following this story that obviously has implications for, among other folks, families of service members here and around the globe. Sure, you imagine they are concerned tonight, Kyle, and we'll hear some reactions from U.S. Senators in just a bit. This is General Qasem Soleimani, head of Iran's Quds Force, who supported several terror groups, including Hezbollah. He's said to have been the second most powerful person in Iran behind the Supreme Leader. The Pentagon put out a statement about an hour ago, uh, two hours ago now. It reads in part, Soleimani was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. General Soleimani and his Quds Force were responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American and coalition service members and wounding thousands more. The statement added that he was behind recent attacks, including a rocket attack last week that killed an American contractor and wounded other Americans and Iraqis. The Pentagon says Soleimani also approved the attacks on the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad this week and that the strike tonight happened to deter future Iranian attacks. President Trump tweeted shortly before the Department of Defense confirmed the attack with a graphic of the American flag. Nothing more from him tonight. Well, Iraqi well, we TV done, has also reported that a man well, named Abu Mahdi Al-Mohandes, said to be a close advisor to Soleimani, was also killed. Al-Mohandes essentially runs Iranian-backed militias and has been designated a terrorist by Washington. But the death of Soleimani himself is what will likely increase tensions in the region. A wide range of emotions from U.S. Senators on Twitter tonight, from concerns of this strike sparking a war to applause for the president, including from Colorado Republican Senator Cory Gardner, who in his statement asked the administration to be prepared for retaliation and to work with Congress closely on any next steps, Kyle. And that, of course, Ryan, is the key. You don't see Americans mourning the death of this guy, but the question is how will Iran re respond, and is the U.S. prepared for that? And we'll be paying close attention to that this week, how the president and the Department of Defense works with Congress to take any next steps. All right, Ryan Hare reporting. Thank you, Ryan.